Tom, thank you for your time. And first of all, how are you settling in at Tranmere? Yeah, good. Um, since since like the day the first day I came in, it was a, a nice place to be. All the lads were dead welcoming. Um, obviously, we've got a, a big turnover of players again, and um, all the new lads. I, I feel like I can speak for them all and say that we've all we've all bedded in well. Um, it's a nice place to to come into work every day, even when it's raining, and um, and seeing everyone's in good spirits is nice. And um, I think we're starting to see uh, starting to see those sort of the results on the pitch. When you're a footballer, do you get used to having to become, I suppose, a, a new player, perhaps once every every two or three years? Is is it expected? Do you think in the modern day game? Yeah, it, it's very rare now that someone stays at a club, as you say, for more than more more than sort of four or five years. Is 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 you're doing well if you do that? So it's um it's part and parcel of it, as you say. You get used to it. Um, speaking from experience, I've been around a lot and um, been all around the country, and it, it is nice to sort of to sort of get back get back home or towards home, get settled. And um, but it's it's made easier by the, by the lads, by the staff, the gaffer and and Dorsey and Parky are brilliant. They sort of talk to you and see how you're getting on. Um, so no complaints from my end. And it's it's just nice. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, as I say, a nice place to come into work every day. Yeah, I believe you're a Warrington lad originally. I am, yeah. So um, Warrington Town was my like sort of first men's team that I played for. Um, so it was nice to go back there in pre-season. Um, and yeah, obviously not, not too far in here, considering I've been away at Bristol and Coventry and Portsmouth over the last few years. So it's... Um, yeah, it's nice to be home. Uh, I can't deny that. And on a Saturday, sort of going back and seeing my mates who I've not seen for sort of five or six years. So it's, um, yeah, it's nice to be back anyway. And had your path crossed with any of the Tranmere players before you came here? Um, I've played with Scotty before, Scotty Davis, um, briefly at Fleetwood. Um, apart from that, it's always just lads I've, I recognise from playing against at various teams. And um, you can sort of laugh about your battles the first week you're in and then, um, as I've said before in in the in the press and that it's um it's a, a change room that I'd rather have on my side than a, than against us because there's a there's a few um there's a few tough lads in this changing room and um yeah so it's just uh, it's nice to see friendly faces then on our side rather than rather than against us. How would you sort of sum up the season so far then? Um it's been a bit of a mixed bag really. We we um I feel like we've we've played well in some games and maybe not got what we deserved and then in other games picked up points where Maybe we were under the cost for a bit, um, but I think you're starting to see the the fruits of the labour now that we do on the on the training pitch. We've sort of got a, a way of playing now. Um, we we know we've got talent. Like you, you don't you don't play for Tranmere unless you're a good player, and you can see that when uh, well I see that on the training pitch every day, and I think that the fans and everyone can start to see that on the weekend that we're we're sort of all pulling in the same direction, and um, yeah, we're putting together some performances. We we um, played top of the league on Saturday, and I, I don't I don't think we were outplayed. Um, so I think we're, we're starting to build momentum now, and it's something that we we know that we need to we need to keep doing, keep kicking on, and and yeah, hopefully pick up more results as we go. Yeah, but you're still in single figures, aren't you, in terms of the amount of league games you've played so far this season? So when you do get a squad who, as we've alluded to already, a lot of new players, new manager, of course, as well, it's going to take take time. Yeah, of course, and as we said, I think there's. We'll have one of the biggest turnovers in the league this year because the, the new managers come in and they'll obviously want to put his, his stamp on things. And it does it does take time. Obviously, we, as I just said, everyone is, is going to be a good player, but you get used to you used to playing with each other through through game time. And um, as you said, still in single figures, so there's still the, like the majority of the season to go. And I think that um, over the course of the season, you'll start to see what we're we're really about as a team. And there's a lot of, uh, or there's some younger players in, I suppose, the likes of of Josh who's come in and and Stephen and, and Powell from from Liverpool. But you've got Peter Clark at the other end as well, and Joe Murphy. So you you certainly span the the generations even. Yeah, I, I think I think we've got a good mix. There's um there's as you say the experience throughout the span of the team, I'd say, um, and then obviously the young lads come in and complement that. Um, it's a really competitive squad. There's, you know that you can't sort of rest on your laurels because someone would come in and take your shirt and you could be sat on the bench for three or four weeks. So um, it's something that it does promote everyone playing well, which is good. Um, you need that energy from the young lads and then they probably need the know-how from the older the older heads in the, in the team who can sort of guide them. Um, but I think, we, as I said before, we've, we've got the right balance. We've got a good mix of it and um, it can only stand us in good stead. Do you like playing alongside Peter? 
Yeah, he, he's he's brilliant. I obviously played against Clarky a, a couple of times in in, in my career, um, but I don't think you you understand quite how hard he works until you until you come in and see him on a day to day basis. He's uh, he's always in the gym. He's he's uh, he gets he gets everything he deserves really because he puts in more work than than most and. Um, on Saturday, he was unbelievable. He just put his body in the way of things and that. And even at even at 29, I can obviously still learn from him because he's got a decade on me. So, um, it, yeah, it's nice to play alongside him. We've, I think feel like we've formed a good partnership at the minute. Um, but as I, as I said before, it's one of those where we can't sort of take our foot off the gas because at the moment we've got the shirt. Because I know that there's there's two or three who'd be who'd be right there waiting for us to go if we uh, if we came off it a bit. Tom, that's lovely. Just, just a final one from me, if I may. You'll be aware, it's a bit of an off-the-wall question, but you'll be aware that there's an Everton player with the same name as, as you. Do, do you ever get confused with him at all? all? All the time. So I get tweets from people who are saying that, uh, from, who think I'm the lad from Everton. Um, pe- people said I'm the best Tom Davies in Birkenhead and all this, and it's just like, oh, this is one of them. But at least I know I've got a better haircut than him. That's all I can say. <laughs> I hope they're nice tweets. Yeah, they are. They are. Great. Thanks for your time, Tom. No problem. I'm on mute. Sorry. That's twice today I've been on mute. <laughs> Tom, at least you can say you're not the Tom Davies who missed a penalty the other week as well. So there's uh, yeah, exactly. some, some consolation for you. Yeah. Um, uh, James just mentioned about Peter Clark. I don't want to go on about Peter too much because obviously we're interviewing you. But I did read a, a statistic about him the other day saying um, that he would played more minutes than any other player last season in the in all four tiers of, of, uh, of league football. Um, quite incredible really and, and just obviously you're playing alongside him week in week out but just seeing that sort of level of dedication and, and trust in a player does that inspire yourself and others in the team yeah it, it's, it can only be beneficial like as, as I said there's you see him in the gym when when you're coming in the morning he's already in the gym when I'm leaving he's still in the gym and that's just something that it can only it's it's sort of something that you you've got to take so what's the word? You've got to sort of take from it and say, oh, I need, I need to add that to my game if I want to have the long, longevity that Clark he's had because he's, as I say, he's 39 now, but he's still putting in performances which are, which are like belie his years. So he's, um, he's brilliant to have around the place. He's always helping me. Like he'll pull me in training and say, listen, what do you think about this? Or if I do this, what do you think you should be doing? And stuff like that. So it's brilliant for me because uh, you, you, you don't always get that with people who are in the same position as you because it's sometimes they might think, oh, well, if he, he might get the shirt if I come out and stuff like that. But he's uh, he's very much a team player. And uh, yeah, he's helped me since I've been in. And I'm sure he, he'll carry on to help others as well. Uh, obviously, so many new players came in at the start of the season. If, you, if you're just one or two going into an, an established squad, you kind of work out who what people's roles are within the dressing room is that. Uh, as... as uh, a player, an older player, I, don't know, I was going to say an old player, doesn't sound quite right, does it? Uh, a more experienced player, shall we say. Um, have you have you felt any extra additional responsibility to, to sort of adopt a leadership position within that squad or or, or is that a, a people just taking those roles themselves? Um, I think, I think it, as you say, it comes with experience, the, the, the way that you, you, you should be around the place. Um, the manager did speak to a few of us Early on in the season, and say like that, what what he expected from us and stuff like that, and it's one of those things that um, that I, I've, I think I've got in my game. I um, I've always been loud on the pitch. I've always been a talker, and I think it it only helps. Not it helps me personally. So if I'm talking, that I'm focused and that, and um, and it can only help the people around me if, if we keep communicating um, as a back four and a back five with with the keeper. I think we always communicate well, um, and I think the older lads in the team, as I said, with Clarky and. People like that, they always help help each help each other out, um, be it training or in games and stuff like that. So it's um, it, it's a good blend. As I said to James before, we've got the young lads as well who can help out with the energy and stuff like that. So it's a it's a good it's a good um, mix in the change room. But yeah, it's um, always nice to have a bit more responsibility and sort of um, add to the group. However, I can. Did the games against Stalford and Forest Green? give you an indicator of how this Tramir team is matching up against potential other promotion candidates? Yeah, I, I, th- I think so. It's um, we, we went back to a four against Salford and 
and we came out the traps flying even before the red card I could see that we were on top and um, it's one of those it's one of those where you just you, you, you know something's coming where you, other, other games I feel like we've been waiting for it to happen but it was just inevitable that, that was going to happen and, and that's what you want to be when, when you see the fans behind the goal and every Saturday wherever it be home and away they're, they're itching for us to do well and it's one of those where you want to deliver so um, when, when, you're, when you're pressing forward like that and you can sort of feel willing the ball into the net it's a good place to be and Salford um, I don't think they could deal with us first 20 minutes and they were tipped at the start of the year to be right up the top end come May um, and then Forest Green, Forest Green are the, the early pace setters, and I think it was a, it was a good game. It was a good matchup. It was I spoke to a few of their lads after the game, and they were saying that they're, they're the best team. We're the, we're the best team that they've played. So it's um, it's nice to hear that, but it's uh, it's all hot air unless you unless you're at the right end come May. So we know that we've got to keep working. We're going to have tough ga- games. We're going to have off days. We're going to have good days and stuff like that. So um, if we keep working and um, deliver what I I believe and what I think everyone believes we can deliver. Then come May we'll be we'll be right in the mix. Just one final one from me, a, a little bit different. I know you're a Warrington lad. I'm, I'm actually in Warrington today, actually, while we're doing this. But um, and you were at Warrington Town. I think one of one of their most uh, famous players going back to the Stockton Heath days was Roger Hunt, um, who, who passed away this week. Um, obviously, a, 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 a generation well be before your own. But but when you were coming through the ranks at Warrington, was he ever talked about, or was there, was there much focus on him uh, as you were coming into football? Um, I can't say there was, to be honest. Obviously, I've seen the, the sad news last week, and it's one of them where you see the amount of people who have got nice things to say and what a player he was and stuff like that. And it's, it's one of those people where um, you sort of understand the effect that he had on the game, um, be it wherever he played and like, throughout his career. So. It's um yeah it was a sad day obviously I've seen a lot of things about it and it makes you realise that you're such a small cog in the, the football world myself and people like that are, are just like people that I, all the generations have looked up to in the past so it's um yeah it's one of them where it's a sad day for football but um we move on and, and yeah look keep looking forward. Right thanks very much Tom appreciate no it. Problem.